guys welcome back to my channel um today well tonight is the 13th and you guys are going to be seeing this on the 13th um i have just had a rough couple of days and this video was not planned it wasn't in my schedule of videos um, I actually was supposed to make like a My Current Favorites video and upload that, but like I said, it's been crazy the past few days. I just put the girls to sleep, so I'm trying to like, <sighs> on the day, which I feel like, you know, you have to do as a mom. Just kind of like, eh, 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 all day, and then you have to like, <sighs> to like, get back centered, but... This is going to kind of just be a diary video um, of just me kind of rambling and the hopes that I will help someone and that someone will appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to edit this, I don't think. I think I'm just going to put it up just the way that it is. Um, but like I said, I've had a rough couple of days. Um, we're like under the surface. I've just been feeling not, that was my sister, if you heard, if you heard that, um, like under the surface, I've just been feeling not very happy, which is not like me so much anymore. Um, I'm, I'm a happy person, like I'm an outgoing person. I haven't always, well I've always been an outgoing person, but under the surface I used to be a very sad person and dealt with some depression and had to be on medication and stuff like that. Like, I'm sure a lot of people. Um, but yeah, I was just really not in a good space under the surface. And maybe like someone else out there, you know how it is if you aren't happy under the surface and you're a mom, you still have to be happy on the upside of the surface, I guess, all day. Um, Especially me. I'm not going to go into class and be depressed or sad and not participate in class and not learn and not be active in class and I'm not going to pick my kids up immediately after class and not be happy on the outside and just like completely shut down or you know take a nap or you know some of the things that I feel like other people you know would be able to do that I know would probably help me but I can't do that. Um, you know, you just have to put on a happy face and give every last bit of your energy that you can so that they can still have a good day. And I think that that's one of the most admirable traits of moms, parents, is that we're able to do that and that we do that. So, yeah, that's where I've been for the past couple of days. I'm starting to kind of get through it. I'm doing a little bit better. I just had a lot going on. Um, it's like midterm week for my classes and you know it's my first year at the university so that's just been a lot of stress <clears throat> to do really well um, and like you know just other stuff going on I've, the house I haven't been able to keep up with it shout out to you guys that commented on my house tour video I'm really glad that you guys liked it the way that it was literally guys I spent like three days an entire weekend. I spent one day this past weekend. Literally, you can ask my boyfriend, I cleaned from like 9.30 in the morning till I got up all the way until like 5 on and off between all the other things that I had to do with kids and stuff. And <clears throat> ended up having to do laundry and blah blah and stuff still was not done. And here we are Thursday. I got that video up just the way that it was, just the way that the house was with people and sh some shit everywhere because... I wanted to get that up for you guys and those of you that commented and was like I appreciate you know the fact that everything isn't perfect and blah 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 that <laughs> literally meant so much to me guys because I see those house tour videos like a lot of the house tour videos or a lot of videos in general and things just seem so put together and they're not regularly and I'm sure for those people they're not I know for me they're not so I'm glad that you guys still you know thought I had a cool spot like that or I have you know I have a cool spot or whatever I'm definitely not done with what I want to do but I mean who is um here so anyways like I was saying here we are Thursday and the laundry part of the laundry is still 
by the laundry machine in the basket, clean, not folded. And I just want you guys to know that that's okay. That is okay. We juggle so much all the time, and it is really okay to not have your shit together all the time, because I definitely don't. No one does, literally. So, if you are just overwhelmed, you feel like you have nothing together, your kids are hanging on by a thread, you're hanging on by a thread, you are not alone. And the fact that you can even recognize that, meaning that you know that you want more, means that you're doing everything that you can and means that you're doing a good job. So, maybe that'll help someone. Um, so, I'm here at, what time is it? 8.30, literally just put the girls to sleep, drinking coffee and eating popcorn. Thank God that Italy's grandma fed both of them chili because I literally probably would have just let them have cereal for dinner. That was a dog. Hold on. Okay, so I also really wanted to share with you guys a page on Facebook that I follow, and I really recommend you guys following it. Those of you that are realistic moms, are real moms, are, you know, I personally sometimes, and I follow a lot of them, are tired of just seeing like perfection around me, even on like social media, people portraying themselves as perfect. I just get so like just annoyed sometimes with that stuff. I'll post a kid of Italy, a picture of Italy like screaming crying and like put some little caption stuff on it on Instagram just because I just want to like break that up even on my own page. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like on my own social media pages or whatever on my videos. I don't want people to think that I'm perfect on any of those places because it's not real and I know that that probably like me annoys people and makes them feel less than and that's not the what it is so anyways i wanted to share this post with you guys that i saw today on one of my absolute favorite facebook pages her name is bunny bum bumney i want to say i'm sorry i'm butchering it laddie tin and um yeah i want to read you guys this post she always posts like a picture and then some of the captions are hilarious. She's an author. Her book is called Toddlers Are Assholes. And she has another one. Um, I'll have to say it. I'll tell you guys what her books are called after this. I don't have either one of them. But I really want to get them and read them. But I do want to share this post with you guys to end this little diary blog right now. So. Okay. Um, I'm trying to show you guys just the picture. So basically it's her in a bubble bath with a book. And I'm going to turn it back around. And read you guys what this says okay so she says one thing one good thing about shit hitting the fan in your life is that you get to rebuild yourself from the ground up when all the titles and dreams fall away all that's left is you the real you last week was rough i cried a lot ate a lot didn't eat at all smoked panic attacked drank all the wine thought i was going to die from worry and stress had a full-on weeping breakdown in my doctor's office could barely concentrate and think straight hated hated everyone myself included second guessed myself second guess second guessed myself again somehow i'm still here sitting in a bubble bath in this apartment that doesn't quite feel like a home but doesn't not feel like a home either trying to remember when toys r us opens and mentally preparing myself for a birthday party at a play center later this morning my kids are excited. I'm wondering who's going to be there and what kind of questions they're going to ask me. My oldest daughter told me yesterday that she is proud of me. She's not one to just hand out compliments either. Every word she said, she says is carefully planned and considered. I used to think the most important thing you could do for your children was to give them suburban normalcy, a leave it to beaver life with homemade dinners, weekend road trips, and big backyards. But as I watched my 10 year old watching me, She's seen my tears fall while I drive through early morning city traffic to get them to school on time. Jodeci is crying because Pink can't put her in her cage, sorry. Watch me pack up our life and unpack it all over again. She's seen the heartbreak in my face as I stand at the sink every night and wash the dishes trying to figure out how we got here. I know I'm giving her something different, but something priceless all the same. She'll know that when you're willing to face the truth of your life, things can get hard, very hard. You can lose almost everything, but you'll still have yourself. 
in those moments, you'll have to put one foot in front of the other or one hand in front of the other if you're crawling and keep going, taking comfort in those who love you. She'll know it's possible because she saw me do it. I know I'm a mess, a disaster of sorts, but one thing my kids will always know is that it's better to have a single candle a single candle in a modest apartment full of peace than a sparkling chandelier in a mansion you have to wear a mask in. I'm going to read that again. One thing my kids will always know is that it's better to have a single candle in a modest apartment that is full of peace than a sparkling chandelier in a mansion that you have to wear a mask in. They'll know the difference between perseverance and pretending. They'll know that image means nothing and that truth is everything. Life isn't always cute. It wasn't designed exclusively for Instagram posts. Sometimes you have to make a mess. And when those days come, cry when you need to, inhale the Chinese food like it's evaporating, and take the bubble bath. Amen, sister. So anyways, you guys, go follow her on uh, Facebook. I'm going to link it down below. Um, her book... Let me see real quick. Her books are called The Honest Toddler. Look them up. And Toddlers Are Assholes is literally what the book is called. And it says in parentheses, and it's not your fault. And um, her name is Bumney, spelled B-U-N-M-I. Someone please correct me on pronunciation. And Laditan, L-A-D-I-T-A-N. This, let me see if it'll show you. Yep, that's what she looks like. Uh, let me get it bigger. There she is. So she's freaking awesome, you guys. Go follow her page. I'm going to get off here before my camera dies. Um, let me know if this helped you guys. I hope I didn't just ramble and make absolutely no sense. Um, but yeah, tomorrow will be better. And we'll get another day to mess it up all over again. So I love you guys so much. Have a good night. Bye.